Hello there Aquarius, thank you for stopping by for your tarot video forecast for the week of November 17th through the 23rd. The tarot deck that I'm using today is my Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg. So let's just get started for you Aquarius. The first card that you have coming up for Monday, you have the Nine of Coins. What a beautiful card to have. This card just says that um, for most of you Aquarius, you have put together a life that you are happy to be in. You're pretty happy with what you've done with your life so far. You're feeling like you're on the right track to go where you want to go in the future. And you are feeling really good about it and you can enjoy it because you have been able to build this life with integrity. You have not had to sacrifice your values to be able to put this kind of life and lifestyle together for yourself, Aquarius. So, Tuesday, what we have coming up for you is another really good card. This is the Seven of Coins. Now in this deck, the Seven of Coins really talks about bringing in the harvest, that you have started a project that you began with the intention that it would bring you some kind of payoff one way or another. And now is harvest time. Now you're beginning to see that payoff manifest and come into your life. Okay, so that's Tuesday for you, Aquarius. Wednesday, Wheel, oops, Wheel of Fortune comes up for you and it comes up reversed. Let me do a little feeling around to see what I'm feeling for you guys here. Okay, so basically Wednesday, it looks like Aquarius, you guys are going to have some kind of surprise come into your life. I don't feel like it's necessarily a bad one. In fact, for most of you, I feel like it's good. And it really should be no surprise to me that I would see a surprise coming into your life, considering you guys are ruled by the planet Uranus, who is the planet of surprise. You guys walk around with surprises all the time, surprising other people and being surprised yourself. Nothing is ever very static in your life. And so Wednesday is no exception. Wednesday, there's some kind of turn of events events, that is a wonderful thing for you. Now, Thursday, Three of Swords shows up in reverse for you guys, Aquariuses. Three of Swords in reverse really talks about that there's been something that happened to you recently that caused you some heartache. Um, a lot of times this does have to do with love relationships. Sometimes it has to do with family relationships or friendships. And so there's some kind of something that caused you heartache recently. However, with the Three of Swords card coming in for you Thursday reversed, what this is telling me is that Thursday is going to be a day of healing for you. So Thursday may be a day for some of you to get some closure on this situation. For others of you, I feel like you're going to have a really good conversation with the other person involved. And that's going to really bring some things up onto the table that haven't been on the table before. It's going to clarify some things. And in that way, it's going to bring healing to your heart. You're going to understand some of the things that, about the situation that you didn't really understand before. And for some of you, um, this healing is just going to come in a way um, because you are in a new situation. Or for some of you, it will even be a renewed situation with the original person. But you're going to start to get some clarity about some things either way that helps you really to get that inner healing for your heart. Okay, so Aquarius, Friday. Strength card in reverse. Strength card in reverse is telling me that Friday you're going to be beating up on yourself for something. And um, for most of you, this is going to be something you had absolutely no control over. I don't know what it is you're beating yourselves up for, but you need to take a step back and go, wait a second. Why am I being so hard on myself? How much involvement did I actually have in this situation? How did I become the trigger here that made everything go bad? <laughs> am I being reasonable and being hard on myself here? And I am going to say like 98% of you are going to find that, no, I'm really not. Ha <laughs> ha, freedom. Okay, so when you start to catch yourself beating yourself up on Friday, just make sure you take a step back, breathe a little bit, and really look at that situation before you move forward with it, okay? Beating yourself up never has hurt any, never has helped anybody that I'm aware of. All right, so Saturday, Two of Cups in Reverse for you guys, for you Aquariuses. Two of Cups in Reverse, really, this has to do with relationship. 
and it has to do with that a relationship is not going exactly the way you would like. So this is an argument or a snag in the relationship. Now it can be a romantic relationship. For most of you it will be 60 to 70 percent of you. But I am feeling like a lot of you are going to be having this manifest in different ways. So um, for those of you who it's not a romantic relationship, you may be seeing this in a family relationship. I am really feeling um, strongly like relationship with parents or with children as far as family relationship in direct lineage is where I'm feeling this really coming up for you guys on Saturday who have it in the family. Um, for those of you who are running into snags in a relationship um, and friendship, these are going to be closer friends. These are not going to be just somebody you met a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so these snags that I'm seeing in relationships that are coming in Saturday are going to be either with romantic partners, probably that you've been with for a while, close family, direct lineage family, or close friends is what I'm really seeing coming in for you guys. Okay, and then on Sunday, Sunday we have a fabulous card. This is my absolute favorite, 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 all-time favorite tarot card. It's the zero card. It's the fool. And the reason that it's my favorite is I don't really think of it so much as foolish as I think of it as the leap of faith card. And I have always had a deep admiration for people who can do a leap of faith. Uh, the perfect example of somebody doing a leap of faith is actually out of the Bible. If you ever think about poor Noah, <laughs> poor Noah lived in the middle of the desert. God tells him, build a boat, a big one, big enough to hold two of every animal plus three extras of the ones that you're going to need to sacrifice and your family in the middle of the desert. Now you can imagine that finding out information about how to build a boat in the middle of the desert probably couldn't have been easy. And then actually building a boat with all the neighbors looking around, what are you doing? What are you doing? That's not a jacuzzi. What are you doing there, Noah? <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a leap of faith, doing something that's not logical at all, that nobody is going to support you on. In fact, his family barely went onto this boat with him whenever it started raining. That is the perfect example of a leap of faith. And it's the perfect example of the fool situation, the situation that comes up on this card. This card that you have on Sunday tells me, Aquarius, that you are in a situation where you know that you know that you know that you know exactly how to handle this particular situation. And that knowing comes from deep within you. It comes from that spirit within you that's connected with greater spirit, with the, the sacred spirit. But what you know that you should do is just as illogical as Noah building a ship in the middle of the desert. And so it's hard to justify right up here in your own mind. It's hard to justify it with your friends and get any support from them. <laughs> and so to actually do this thing that you know that you know that you know that you should do is a big deal. It's really showing a lot of trust and faith in God or the universe, whatever word that you want to use. And I see you actually doing that on Sunday. I see you taking that leap of faith and just saying, you know what? I know that whoever gave me this knowing has my back. And there's a reason that things are supposed to be done this way. And I will be taken care of as long as I honor the source of this knowing. So it's a really, really fabulous situation to be in. It's very exciting. And uh, to trust Sacred Spirit in that way is amazing. It's the beginning of a wonderful journey for you. Okay, so that is your week Aquarius. I'm excited for you for Sunday. <laughs> as if you couldn't tell. For those of you who would like to have a private session with me, please feel free to check out my website. You can find me at www.amista, A-M-I-S-T-A, dot info, I-N-F-O. Once you have found out more about me, if you feel like I'm still the best reader for you, please feel free to contact me, and then we'll set up a, se a uh, session for you as soon as possible. For the rest of you, I will see you next week. Everybody have a great week. Peace out.